Let's pull that power out and let's have a look inside this bad boy. Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver. How can there not be a Phillips head screwdriver here? There's lots of screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should just have to do these side ones, I think. Oh, hear that? There's something in there rattling around. Good goodness. Definitely high quality. Hopefully it at least looks decent on the inside. Half expect to see globs of solder all over the place. Really is a small unit. Tiny. There's. Oh my god. There's a little thing that was bouncing around in there, and it looks like a surface mount. A surface mount something. That's not a good sign. Man. Big aluminium back plate. I can't get the brand of that cap down there. Oh, I can see where it's come off as well. Right there. C11, so it's a capacitor. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I guess that's a little cheap if... Oh look, no, there's something missing there as well. And there. Oh god. This... Maybe... It can't be that many, surely. It wouldn't go. But it actually looks like something's tried to be soldered there, but because it, it's rough, it's not a smooth solder pad or anything. But the unit kind of works. Um, that just controls that screen, I guess. Controller, go all the voltage stuff still good. You know, I cannot get the brand of those caps. They're 200 volt, 680 UF. I don't think they've even got a brand on them. Trip 40 comes into the switch. Comes back to the board. Look at that, that's not, not it. Not even soldered in straight. Neither is that one. Not much, not much to it. Now, I am a bit worried about that, those parts that look like they're missing. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but see there's C8, R22, R21. C3, C3 looks like it just, it's, there's nothing there, the solder pads are nice and smooth, but these other ones, they're, they're, they appear to have had something soldered to them, but it's, it's fallen off, hasn't taken. 
Or maybe they've been removed. That could be the other thing. But that doesn't explain why. Why one is just floating around on the inside. That's crazy. We'll have a little peek. See if any more come off. There's a button there. I wonder what that does. There's no brand on those caps. None at all. You can see the voltage regulators and stuff down there mounted on that big aluminium plate. It says in the book it can run eight hours continuously. I don't know if that's with no load or a load. And this circuit board is fairly basic. It nearly looks like, you know, a homemade one. Oh, it's not in the back, but nice big traces. Can't actually see where the... Um... The voltage regulation's done. There's a transformer. Oh, there's a big resistor. Can't see many there's diodes. One, two. Oh well. We'll try it out for a while. A 12 month warranty apparently. Oh, look how close those wires are together. Let's, let's move them apart. There's a lot of wire jumpers. Bad circuit design? Maybe. It's very light. Which I've probably already said a billion times. Well, we will see how it goes with a missing resistor.